Good morning everybody and happy Monday. Today we're going to be doing a process type of art using food coloring and paper. So let's get started. I love process art because process art reminds us that the steps that we take to create the artwork is just as important as the finished product. So let's get started with what you need. You will need some type of food coloring for today's project. I have chosen blue, pink, and orange. And you can see here that you don't need much. If you don't have food coloring, you can use a mixture of instant coffee and water. Next on the list is string. I chose a thicker string that would hold more of the color. Once you're ready, you'll dip your string into the color and then mix it around. You can use popsicle sticks to mix it or a marker like I did. Place your string in between two pages and then pull the tail out and it will reveal your string art. So I kept doing this with different colors and different strings. You can use the same string if you want and the same color. Each time I make a sandwich with the two pages and pull from the bottom. Try to place your string on different parts of the paper so that you can fill up the space. And that is the basics of string art and food color. So I'm going to show you another way to use it without food coloring and just the coffee. So you're going to do the same thing with your coffee and water mixture. Place the string in the color, then sandwich it and pull the tail out from the bottom. So you can see it has the same effect just with a brown color. Once you finish a page with your string and color, it's really fun to look back and try to figure out what all of the lines and shapes create. Maybe you see a bird, maybe you see towers. Totally up to you. I did test out dental floss for those of you who don't have string. And while it worked, it didn't work quite as well. However, if this is all you have on hand, it will still work in a pinch. One thing to remember while you're creating today, food coloring and coffee will stain fabrics that it lands on. So your t-shirt or your kitchen towels could be stained by these liquids. Make sure you cover your work surface and wear an old t-shirt. And there you have it. I hope you guys had so much fun today.